Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick video, I hope, on changing the transfer case fluid in my 2012 VW Touareg TDI. It doesn't really matter that it's a TDI. I think this would likely be the same for a Porsche Cayenne and Audi Q7 of this vintage. It has a transfer case and it's full-time four-wheel drive. Volkswagen says that that fluid's lifetime. I don't know that I believe it. You can actually feel it kind of slipping a little bit or, or doing something when you're turning a tight corner. Maybe I'm just not used to ever driving anything with all-wheel drive because this is the only one I've ever owned. But I got a quart, I got a container of fluid, which is actually a VW part number I'll show you in a minute. And we're gonna go ahead and change it. So we're underneath the vehicle. I'm assuming this to be the fill plug, this to be the drain plug. There's an eight millimeter hex. And I've seen where you can buy these with the fluid, which seems kind of odd, which makes me a little bit scared that maybe these are junk, I don't know. They probably have thread sealing on there. Perhaps they're aluminum. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the fill first in case there's an issue. I don't drain all my fluid out and I'm going to put this into a container just to make sure that I have the correct amount. And out of curiosity to see what it looks like. And there's a plug in there too. So we can fish that out with an aluminum magnet here in a minute. The front of the car is jacked up and has a jack stand under it, so we're tilted back slightly, which should facilitate the rest of that draining, so I will let that drain for a minute. Let us drip for a while. I think long enough. This is a tapered plug apparently, so it has sealant on it. That factory sealant looked to be doing a fine job, so we're not going to mess with anything there. That wasn't super tight to begin with. So mildly snug should be fine. So that's the fluid that came out of there. Note the color. Also, I lied to you. That drain plug is not aluminum. I don't know why they'd want to sell you a new one. That's just plain old steel. Probably galvanized. But there's no reason to buy one of those. That'll go right back in there. Anyway, fluid's awful dark. That is the new fluid. Genuine Volkswagen transfer box oil. GO55 515A2. I couldn't find an aftermarket equivalent. So this 850 milliliters was like $33. That was a pretty good deal. You can probably get it at the dealer. I don't know what they charge. I bought it from another place. So now, apparently this is the correct fill quantity, so we won't waste any. So now we gotta figure out how to get it in there. That's the color of this fluid. It is not black. And um, it's not, I would have thought maybe it was automatic transmission fluid or something, but it kind of smells like dead fish and urine. So I have no idea what's in there. There's all kind of warnings on the back too. So to put it in there, we're going to use this fluid filler. I got this to use on our all track to change the DSG fluid and pump it in. It comes with so this particular one has a quick connect. It came with this little belt with all these adapters to be able to squirt stuff in there. I'm thinking something like that will work. We can get it up in the hole. 
we can get it up in the hole and transfer it that way. I drained this thing with all the DSG fluid. That's one thing I don't really like about this is I'm not sure I can always get it all out. I thought I drained it. So I don't know that a drop or two of something else in there is going to hurt. Heck, it may be the same stuff. Who knows? It's just about clear. So obviously something's going on in there. There's some wear parts. So that's filled up. Let's go back under the car. Actually, just out of curiosity, let's see how much came out of there. I probably dripped a little bit. I didn't spill a whole lot. Looks like about 500 milliliters. Hmm. We'll see how much it takes. Okay, so I think I'm ready. I have my drain plug prepared, fill plug prepared. I have this adapter on the fill pump. Let's put some pressure in it. in the hole. Turn it on. If you can see that, that is forcing the fluid in there. Looks like we are done, and it is running out. Yeah, I should probably turn that off first. Well, that could have been a little prettier. Just tighten that. That should be done. We're all buttoned up under the car and back on the ground. I drained what was left in the fill container and what was what I spilled in my drain bucket back in there. Came to about, I don't know, so maybe I spilled 40 milliliters. Probably not that much. Probably just enough to confuse the cat in the driveway. But anyway, the whole thing went back in 850. That's kind of odd, there's no sign of leakage, but she's a lot more fuller, if that's even a word. There's a lot more in there now than there was. So, I'll take it for a drive and see how it performs. Thanks for watching, subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. There'll be plenty more videos on this vehicle, I'm sure. Wait, there's more. I did go for a little drive around the neighborhood, not real far. And I did turn around in a cul-de-sac over there where you usually feel the binding kind of grabbing sensation, pretty tight circles. And I didn't feel it, so maybe that was worth it. So if you're interested in doing this, like I said, that quart of 850 milliliters of fluid was like 30 some dollars, probably cost me 40 by the time I got here. The fluid filler is about 80. You could probably do it a different way, a little cheap hand pump. But anyway, thanks for watching.